Welcome back guys, it's Dog here from Seekerhost and today we're going to be going over a world generation plugin. Now some of the reasons we like to pre-generate our worlds is because it stops some of the lag as people are generating it as they're flying through, potentially moving through it, especially if you've got lots of players, and it's taking a lot out of the server to catch up with everybody loading up the new chunks. Plus it looks super cool on the map. Just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, if I open this one right here, you're going to see that it's generated as a massive circle. As you can see, I can go in, I can check out the world, and this world was only just started. So it's a brand new world, and I ran the generation, meaning that this much, and you can do this in different shapes as well, you can do this in a square, a circle. So I pre-generated a thousand blocks of my map, meaning that not only I can log on to stuff like MC View, check out my entire map like this, that looks a little strange, but all of your players can now fly through without having to generate all these new chunks, because they're ready there for them and saved on the server world files. So guys, let's get started. The first thing that you're going to need is going to be a Minecraft server. If you haven't got one yet, head on over to www.seekerhost.co and you can get some seriously cheap hosting, starting for as little as $2.50 a month or around £2 per month in the UK. We have both Europe and USA-based servers and you can go all the way up to the top package or create yourself a custom package. After that, we're going to need the plugin called Chunky and this is going to be working for up to 1.19 and starting from 1.13. Now for this, I'm going to be using the paper 1.19.2 server. The reason for this is because it's much more optimal for multiplayer servers, plus it can use spigot and bucket download. So I'm going to be using paper. However, this does also work for spigot servers. Now, if you want to download this manually, upload it using your FTP file access or using FileZilla. I'll leave the link in the description, download it and upload it to your plugins folder. However, we're going to be doing it the much easier way with Multicraft, which is simply going to plugins. So first of all, let's just make sure that we stop the server. Then we're going to head over to the plugin list on the left. Again, you can do this manually with your FTP or FileZilla. And with Spigot selected under source, we're going to search for Chunky. There we go, top one that comes up. And we're going to click on Chunky to now install it quickly and easily. Just like that, we've now installed the plugin. All we've got to do now is start up the server, load in, and we'll go through some of the commands to generate your world. Excellent, all installed. Let's just head back to the main panel. And from here, let's just start the server back up. So we've just logged on to the server. Nice and brand new world. So, so we now want to do all this generation so it doesn't happen when players are flying around. And the image popping up on my screen right now is going to be the commands that you're going to use. We're going to run through some of them now, but if you follow the link in the description, it will take you to the plugin page and that will have all the commands you need to use. And of course, make sure that you are a server operator before you do any. So the basic way to get started is going to be by actually typing in what you want to do. For instance, a very simple way to do this is by going forward slash chunky radius and then choosing the radius that you want to generate. Once you've chosen that radius, you can then do a chunky and start and then that will then start the generation. So that's the most simple way of explaining how it starts. However, you do get many, many more things that you can use with this. This is going to be such as the shape, where you want the center to be, the radius, the world border, whether it's at spawn or whether you want to generate it in certain areas. So let's just go through some of the examples now. First of all, let's just choose what world you're in, whether it's the nether, the normal world or whether you're using multiverse portal. So we're going to do a forward slash, we're going to do chunky, then we're going to do world press space and it's going to give you the available world so i'm going to choose this for the world what this is now going to do is now chunky is looking at this particular world to do the command now let's choose what shape this generation is going to be so forward slash and we're going to do chunky we're going to type in shape and then after that you can choose one of the many different shapes that it has here so i'm just going to go for a square this time as you can see shape changed to square now basically what you're doing is you're presetting up what you need for the generation before you then start the generation now let's choose where the center is again with forward slash we're going to go to chunky if you want it to be at spawn you can simply Simply type in spawn or if you want it to be at a certain coordinate you type the x and the z coordinate so let's say 100 we obviously leave out the y because we don't really care how high it is then we do 100 so that's going to be from block 100 to 100 and whatever space that is obviously that will be no space so let's say we've done minus 100 that's going to make a big square between 100 on the x-axis and minus 100 on the z-axis so for this, I'm just going to do this around spawn. So it's set to zero, zero. That's where the center is going to generate out from in the shape of a square. Now let's go ahead and choose the radius. So chunky again, we're going to choose the radius over here. And now you're going to choose how many blocks you want it to go out with. Now I'm just going to do 200 because otherwise it might take a little bit longer. But obviously you can choose this however much you need. For example, or for a quick example, I generated a thousand blocks and it took about 15 to 20 minutes before. So that's about the time scale you're looking at. So I'm going to do a radius of 200. Now, of course, using the link, um, or the picture that come up earlier if you took a screenshot this is how you can now change around um, and you know configure how you want that to be generated 
Once you're ready, you've got all the commands ready, so where you've centered it, how big it's going to be, what world. And you do have many other cool things, such as uh, chunky, you can do corners, and then basically set your X1 corner, your Z1 corner, then your X2 and your Z2 to make an exact area. Or well, you can do chunky world border, which will set the center of the radius to match the vanilla world border and the selected world, which is pretty cool, which means that you can set up your world border and then do the chunky to generate that exact area. However, once you're done, we're going to do chunky and we're going to do start to start it. Now, once you do start, you have a few more options. You can also do chunky pause to pause any generation, chunky continue if you have paused, or of course, chunky cancel if you want to actually cancel the whole operation. So to get started, let's press start. As you can see, it's now got started there. If we come over to the console, you can see that actually that was done in a few seconds and very, very quickly, but all the chunks have been generated there and you get a percentage as it's going down. And that's going to be all it takes, folks. Obviously, the world, the bigger it is or the bigger generation that you want around it, the longer it's going to take to generate it. So do keep checking your console before you go ahead and play any games. I do highly suggest just to stay there, keep your player just still, and wait for it all to pre-generate. This will show in an in-game maps, or as I did at the first part of the video, using MC View, which is a free app that you can get on the Microsoft Store. One thing for this though is that you will need to download your world. If you don't know how to do that, we have got a video tutorial on how to download your world, and then upload it to your single player. Once you've got it up on your single player, or you've just got the world file, you can then load it up with MC View, and it will show you all of the generated areas. So you can, in fact, go and check out where all the villages are before you've even found them. So thanks for watching again guys, for any more tutorials like this make sure to check out the rest of our YouTube videos on our channel and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, we will see you next time, thanks for watching, bye bye.